My sister, I beg God can I put here for granted hear this story? The redemption church of God, I see she the Lagos province for our papa family. Don't call another bonga one come again, oh. Then call her a rise women conference. The team for this year now, the king's daughter. Who fit be the king's daughter? This program will teach women plenty, plenty sense. I beg no miss her at all at all. The program that for women when don't marry, and women when never marry. Woman of God, we go preach now. Reverend Mrs. Funke Adejumo. Plenty, plenty at is there. We go sing like Olufumi and many other bonga at is there. Plus side attractions like free cancer screening, exhibition, and the potential at the original she food where you go feature to live long. Date now, 30th October 2010. Time now, 11 a.m. When you the program go share now, RCCG City of Delhi, 16 to 19 the Jolu Estate, off the Gaia Union Street, Victoria Island. Now forget, oh, the program now for women, we don't marry, and women, we never marry. Come and receive blessings, yafu, yafu. Jesus is Lord. of David. Welcome to COD News. I am Ifoma. The much-awaited Arise Women's Conference comes up in only five days. On Saturday 30th October, women from all walks of life will converge at the City of David for this conference which has been tagged the King's Daughters. It is one event you don't want to miss. Attending will be the First Lady of Lagos State, her Excellency, Mrs. Abimbola Fashala, the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Her Excellency, Mrs. Sarah Sosan, and the First Lady of Ondo State, Her Excellency, Mrs. Kemi Mimiko. Ministering at the conference are Reverend Mrs. Funke Felix Adejumo and our very own Pastor Mrs. Siju Iliumade. There will be a free cervical cancer screening for 3,000 people exhibitions, special performances, and other side attractions. Please make plans to attend this conference and bring a friend along. You'll be glad you did. The Handmaidens will be meeting this week, and this edition promises to be very exciting, as it's going to be a talent hunt. So ladies, make plans to be at the sanctuary at 12.30 p.m. on Wednesday, and come prepared to showcase your talent. COD Missions Department would like to encourage everyone to stay committed to the COD Jakarta Mission Project. You can visit the Missions Desk to make donations. Please note that the counsellors are always available on Sundays after the first and second services, except for Thanksgiving Sundays. You can also visit the church office or ask the ushers for a counselling appointment form to book your appointments. Something new and exciting is happening at the City of David. The Publications Department is introducing a monthly magazine. Last week, we had the editor of The Eagle with us in the studio. Today, we have with us Pastor Joy Itiaba, the head of the Internal Publications Department. She's going to be speaking more about the magazine and answering some of the questions that have been raised. Good morning, Church. We'd like to give you more information on our upcoming magazine. The magazine is not the Eagle, which is the church bulletin. Rather, the department, in line with the vision of our pastor, to have church outside the worlds of church, will be producing a Christian magazine, and it will be offered to you for a love gift. And the proceeds will be used for charity. City of David, you must be a part of this project. 
If you have any suggestions for the name of the magazine, please send us text to the numbers on your screen and there will be a reward for the winner. Perhaps you're a business owner or a professional or you would like to be a regular columnist in the magazine or you would like to advertise your products, services, vacancies and your events, kindly send us text or call the numbers on your screen. It's time to arise and shine, for we are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Thank you and God bless. And now to this week's sports news. Results from the ongoing COD Community Cup match, day three, had the Pastors defeat the Davidic Marshals five goals to four. While the match between the choir and Javiel 2 ended in a four-all draw. The Sunshine team was mean to the handmaidens as the game ended nine goals to nothing. The last match had the Ushers play a 1-1 draw with the teenagers. In the 2010 Believers Champions League, COD United qualified to the quarter-final round after playing a 1-1 draw with Bethel Ministries at the group stage. For other events happening this month, at the City of David, please visit the website at www.codonline.org. This brings us to the end of this week's news broadcast. Thank you for watching and listening. This is the City of David, where the love of God reigns and dreams come true.